In this session, we are going to perform a freeze drying with a dissolution. First, we are going to review the basic concepts studied in theory lessons in order to understand the practice of freeze drying that we are going to carry out in the lab. Uh, next, we will talk about freeze dryer in bench scale production and problems during, during the fresh drying, such as blowout and meltback and puffing. Freeze drying is a special drying technique applied to a solution, freezing the solution and afterwards eliminating the solvent. This solvent, which in most of cases is water, will undergo a process of sublimation in a vacuum environment that means that ice will turn into a gas which will be subtracted from the, from the camber. The product obtained has a porous texture and lyophilic character. That is, it's, it has a great avidity for water, which allows a fast and complete reconstitution to the initial product. If we look at the graph of the slide, we can see that the lower the pressure, the lower the temperature at which the, the ice begins to sublimate. In addition, if we work at pressures below the triple point, we can avoid the liquid state. Looking at the three-phase diagram, we can see that at pressures close to the vacuum, the ice would begin to sublimate at a relative, relatively low temperature. Therefore, working condition at low pressures allows moderate temperatures, which make this drying optimal for thermolabile products. Another point to keep in mind is that freeze drying is an endothermic process it needs energy input to be carried out. In much of the cases, industrial free dryers allow the initial freezing and the subsequent sublimation of the solvent inside the same apparatus, supplying the energy by heating through the, tri through the tray when the bottle is placed. However, most of the apparatus to work in a small scale have at least two different characteristics. On the one hand, the product must be introduced already frozen, that is, the freezing phase is carried out in another device. Another important characteristic is, is that the heat necessary to sublimate the solvent is caught from the env environment and therefore it depends very much on the room temperature. That is the main reason for these freeze dryers to be used only with low demanding products. In this practice, we will dry two solutions with different excipients, composition, and we will observe and discuss the results obtained, the problems during the process, and the reasons. To carry out this practice, 10 ml of two solutions will be prepared and divided into four vials. A solution of 10% of sodium sulfate in water and another solution of 10% sodium sulfate in water, to which we will add lactose at 5%. Lactose is an excipient that will act as a diluent or filler. The filler is an inert excipient added to very dilute solutions in order to provide mass to the solute, avoiding that once the solvent disappears, the solute is stuck onto, onto the walls. This phenomenon is known by the term blowout. Once prepared, the solutions will undergo very fast freezing in order to form a smaller and more numerous crystals. The freezing must be carried out below the tectic temperature so that the solution freezes uniformly. Therefore, vials will be stored in a ultra freezer that will keep them at minus 80 grades until free drying process. During this lab session, the professor will show the different parts of the freeze dryer and place the frozen vials. Then the process will start and the solvent will begin to sublimate. During the course of the lab session, we can realize how the solvent begins to evaporate, leaving a product or porous of product structure. Freeze drying needs several hours to be carried out, so the results will be discussed on the next lab session. It is important to identify the problems that may have occurred, their reason and the possible solution.